Hello, my name is Mr Dwyer. I am Assistant Vice Principal with responsibility for the sixth form. Um, what I'd like to do in this video is to talk to you a little bit about what our sixth form is like on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, there are three things I would like to cover. I'm just going to talk about what our university link is like, um, what our expectations of our sixth formers are, and then the help and support that is available. Okay, so to start with, what does it mean to be linked and partnered with and sponsored by a world-class university like the University of Birmingham. So what does that mean if you're actually a sixth former here? Okay, well there are a number of ways. The first way is that there are times throughout sixth form when we do go and visit the university. For instance, this is the current year 12 who got to visit the university at the start of September as part of their induction to the school. Um, so they get to have a tour and a look around and then a talk from staff at the university about the best ways to approach their A-levels uh, to really get the most out of these next two years. Okay. Also, our Year 13 visited the university last month. Here they are in one of the brand new lecture theatres at the university. Um, they went there and they got a talk from university staff in terms of how they can make the best possible university applications. So um, what university uh, subjects to think about, uh, how to write a good personal statement, and the types of things that admissions tutors will be looking for in applications. Okay, so there are times as a sixth, form, a sixth former here when you get to visit the university. There are also times when academics from the university will come in and visit the school. For instance, last month we had uh, Dr. Ruth Page, who's doing a bit of research around social media. And so she came in and planned that research, working with a group of psychology and sociology A-level students, which is a really great experience for them. Okay, so, but as well as having academics come and visit us, we also have times when undergraduates will come in and visit the school as part of tuition schemes. So it could be if you're doing A-level maths here, it might be there'll be an opportunity to spend some time working through some things with an A-level an A -level undergraduate from the University of Birmingham. So there are lots of times when we'll visit them or the university will come and visit us. We're also uh, Pathways to Birmingham School, which means that uh, students that meet certain criteria get access to schemes run by the University of Birmingham. Two to maybe highlight is the Access to Birmingham scheme, the A to B scheme, which means if, if our students meet certain criteria and apply to the University of Birmingham, they may qualify for a, a reduction of up to two grades in their university offer. Uh, we also send lots of our sixth formers uh, on the Routes to Professions scheme, which is for students who are maybe interested in medicine or dentistry, engineering or law, and they get lots of mentoring and support and interview prep. Um, for making applications for those types of degrees. Uh, apart from that, we do get to use the university's facilities. So as part of our enrichment programme, every Friday we have groups of sixth formers that will go and visit the university uh, and use maybe the squash facilities, trampolining, um, and then we may use their big arenas, then halls they've got there for badminton or basketball. Okay, so that's, that's what the university link looks like if you're a sixth former in our school. Okay, the second thing I wanted to cover is our expectations. Now we see ourselves very much as a springboard to university for our students and um, that comes with with two important parts okay that is that we don't they don't all have to go to university okay it's not what we're saying but if they choose not to go to university that the option was there for them okay and secondly that going to university is, is not a right, it's something that has to be earned through hard work. Okay, So we do ourselves as a springboard to university, but getting to university is really, really difficult and really hard work. Okay, So we do have really, really high expectations of our sixth formers. Okay, We ask lots from them, but broadly there are three main things. The first thing is we ask them to be serious about their education and serious about going to university. Okay, because it is it is difficult, it is challenging. So we ask them in terms of the way they conduct themselves around school. We expect all our sixth formers to behave and conduct themselves impeccably around school. Not just because they are, need to be serious about how they're approaching their studies, but also because they're very important role models for our younger pupils. We also have a dress code, which is all available on the website. Um, our sixth formers dress very, very smartly. Um, and they do that every day because, again, they are serious about their A-level studies. The second thing we ask is that our students work hard because getting to university is going to take a lot of effort. It won't just happen. Okay, so to help with this, um, we ask all of our students to be here at 8.50 every single day. And then if they're not in lessons, if they have a study period, we expect them and insist that they stay in school and use that time productively to work. Now, that's one of the main differences between us and a college 
is that our students are, are not free to come and go in between lessons. We expect them to stay in school, use our great facilities and put in the effort that is going to be needed to get those best university places. And the final thing we ask is we ask them to be the type of people who want to take part in things. So when we provide opportunities for them, such as ones with the university, that our students are the type of people who will say, OK, I would really like to be involved in that volunteering opportunity or that work experience opportunity. So they will really want to be involved in things. Right. The final thing I wanted to go through was about the help and support that is available through these two years. OK, now this is our sixth form team. Uh, we have two pastoral managers. We have Miss Payne, who is uh, responsible for looking after the kind of academic standards of our sixth form. So that's helping students with their organisation, helping them with their time management, helping with their homework. We then have Mrs Dubra, who looks after the, the well-being and the mental health of our sixth formers. Um, now those two members of staff are available at any time for our students to go and speak to and get advice and guidance and help and support. We have Mrs Kershaw who is responsible for all the admissions but also has oversight of things like student finance and of work experience uh, and again is a really good person you can go and speak to at any time. And then the Mr Washbrook who is the assistant leader of the sixth form and he has responsibility for, for putting in place all the interventions so if anybody's struggling in a particular subject um, Mr Washbrook would look about how we could support support you through that and what help we could provide. Okay. Also all of our sixth formers are also assigned a college when they join us um, which is one of these eight um, and the, co the, the college, part of the college is you will meet your form tutor every single day. Um, so that form tutor is there that you can check in with and you can talk to at any time and they will also deliver the Learning for Life programme every day uh, which is going through um, things such as various life skills, maybe like budgeting and finance, um, and that's someone you'll see every single day. Okay, so that's the help and support that is available. Um, these are the subjects that we offer as part of our sixth form. Okay, now our sixth formers will choose three of these. Uh, they, if you want to do further maths, that can be chosen as a fourth subject, but further maths is the only time students can do four subjects. Okay, so it might be it might be worth spending a lot of time going through and thinking about the different subjects that you could do at A level. Now some people have already got a good idea about what they would like to do after A level, so what they'd like to do at university or what they'd like to do as their career. Okay, now if you are like that and you know what you want to do, it's worth considering this slide from the University of Birmingham. Okay, now the first column here, um, these are degrees that typically require their A-level counterparts. So if you are thinking about doing English at university, you definitely have to do English A-level. Okay? The second column are those degrees that do not typically require their A-level counterpart. So if you're thinking about doing psychology or economics at um, university, you don't have to have done psychology or economics at A-level typically in order to get onto that degree. And then finally, it's always worth considering that for all the engineering courses and computer science and physics, all of those types of courses will typically require maths A-level, so it's worth considering that. Um, but I understand that most year 11s, they don't, don't have a good idea about what they would like to do, which is absolutely fine and absolutely normal. What might be a good idea dear, then is to think about choosing a combination of subjects that keeps your options broad, keeps your options quite open. Um, and a good resource and website to use is this one, is informedchoices.ac.uk, which is run by the Russell Group of the universities. Now, when you go to that website, it basically gives you this option. Um, and you can click on this purple button on the left that says, I don't know what degree I would like to study. Okay, And if you click on that, you can choose some different subjects you're thinking about, and it will then suggest to you the types of degree based that would be open to you based on those subjects. So I definitely suggest you use that website um, to have a look and to see what the subjects you're thinking about doing might lead on to. You may put some different combinations in and see what comes up. Okay, but definitely do your research into, into which potential A-levels you are interested in. Okay, that is all. I just wanted to tell you, as I said, a little bit about what our sixth form is like on a daily basis. And then again, about um, what you can be thinking about when you're choosing your A-levels. Okay, 
Hope you found that useful and I'll speak to you soon.